Hi, I'm Mike Robel from DeadCooksDinner.com, and this is my recipe for rotisserie turkey legs. First, we're going to brine the turkey. Start with three quarts of water, then add three quarters of a cup of table salt, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and stir until dissolved. We will add our turkey legs. Put them in the brine, meaty side down, cover, and refrigerate for one to four hours to let the brine soak into the turkey. Now we're going to build our baste. We start with two tablespoons of vegetable oil, half a stick of butter, two tablespoons of honey, each squeeze is about a teaspoon, so that's good. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. As you can probably tell, I'm just eyeballing these. They don't have to be perfect. A tablespoon of soy sauce. Some fresh herbs. I like thyme because I'm going to be using it with my herb brush later. And last but not least, two cloves of smashed garlic. This is where you get to work out your aggressions on your food. And then this goes in the microwave for one minute or until you start to smell the garlic and the butter is melted. And now it's time to make our herb brush. I have a couple of bunches of thyme from a thyme bush I have out front. I like thyme because it's free. And I have a piece of string about a foot long wrapped tightly around the brush and then tie off. And I have my herb brush. I did just say I have too much free time. Sorry. My turkey is done brining. I've patted it off with some paper towels, and now it's time to put the turkey on the spit. Turkey has a narrow and a wide side. I am going to aim for right about there. I want to get the spit through that spot so the fork catches the meat just through there. And that'll give it two points to hold the leg steady while it's rotating. Repeat with another leg on the same fork. Don't poke yourself. I go to another fork for the next two legs. Repeat with as many legs and forks as you have. We're ready for the grill. I like to put a little aluminum foil around the knob of the legs. The knobs tend to burn from the high heat of the grill. And now let's get our grill set up to rotisserie the turkey legs. Out the grate, set up a charcoal chimney. And now our charcoal is ready. We've got a nice coating of ash starting to form. So we put our drip pan in the middle of the grill and pour the charcoal into even piles on the sides. Now we add our rotisserie attachment to the grill. Point goes into the motor. Turn the motor on. Make sure the legs are over the drip pan. And put the cover on. A good pair of welding gloves are a griller's best friend. Now we cook covered for 30 minutes until the drumsticks are ready to be basted. See you in 30 minutes. Our 30 minutes are up and it's time to start basting the turkey legs. We've got our herb brush and our baste. Get it on there really good. Mm, that's really starting to smell delicious. Don't drip it on the coals or you'll get flare-ups. And now we're good. Another five minutes and we will baste it again. Another five minutes have passed and it's time to baste the legs again. Make sure you give your sauce a good stir because it will tend to settle and then start basting. Notice how the legs are getting a little more brown from the honey in the sauce, starting to caramelize a little, which will give them a nice sugary and salty and spicy glaze with a little hint of the herbs that you're using to baste the turkey. And now for the last five minutes of cooking. And we are done. Look at that. Beautiful. So now we need to get them off the spit. And be very careful. This spit is a branding iron right now. If you touch it with bare skin, you will leave a mark. As I said earlier, gloves are your friend. The best tool for getting these little spit forks off, I have found to be a regular old dinner fork because it fits on them perfectly. 
and it lets me twist it loose. Then I can just push and give it a little wiggle and slide them right off onto the platter. And now we let these rest for five to ten minutes to cool off before we eat them. There you have it, rotisserie turkey legs from Dad Cook's Dinner. I'm Mike Robel, and thank you for watching. Okay, guys, come and get it. Bye.